Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, Today's video is on something we've covered before, uh, the feud between Nancy Culp and Buddy Ebsen. Uh, but this is a little bit more in, uh, it's like being in the inner circle. It, it, it tells more about it. Uh, I wanted to get more in depth. So uh, here we go. Okay. Throughout the past few decades, I've all come to accept a behind the scenes drama as part of television. Entertainment drama is part of the industry now, and rarely do actors' secrets about their behind-the-camera interactions stay secret for very long. Through the lens of nostalgia, we sometimes forget that actors from older TV shows had similar, similar tensions, and it may not be public uh, enough to become a spectacle. Um, Buddy Epson, who played the iconic Jed Clampett in the Beverly Hillbillies, a native mountaineer who struck oil, or relocating his family to live the good life in Beverly Hills, Nancy Colt played the stuffy Jane Hathaway, an accountant tasked with looking after the Clampett fortune, and a common foil for the zanier Clampett family. Though their characters uh, being miles away in personality and philosophy and worldview were often the brunt of the jokes on screen. This connect disconnect between the two stars didn't stop when the cameras wrapped. Colt and Ebsen were reported to have been very compatible relationship on the set, often arguing over politics and personal disagreements. Now, as we've grown used to assuming that there's behind the scenes drama, uh, we've also grown used to assuming that political disagreements are everywhere. This was no different in 1962 when the Beverly Hillbillies debuted. Ebsen, a lifelong conservative Republican, commonly quarreled with the more liberal Culp. Both uh, former naval officers, their disputes on the show would become a routine occurrence. Over the years, numerous cast members have commented on their tumultuous relationship on set, claiming that uh, calm discussions would rarely escalate to yelling and name-calling. Though the show only lasted nine years, uh, their relationship continued well beyond that. Uh, years after the conclusion of the series, Culp decided it was time for a career change. Culp had long been active in political campaigns and activism, but in 84, she set her sights on running as a Democrat for the Republican-controlled House of Representatives seat in her native Pennsylvania. She ran a diligent campaign, even though she was unlikely to win the seat, that uh, had been under Republican control for 12 years. And even with the polls indicating that she was almost sure to lose in the seat, Ebsen felt he needed to get his jab in. Ebsen recorded radio and television ads for her opponent, claiming, you're too liberal for me, and I've got to go with Bud Schuster. According to the New York Times, <laughs> uh, Ebsen backed her opponent and claimed that she was too liberal for Pennsylvania, despite the fact that he himself was a lifelong California resident. And I'm sorry, when it comes to politics, New York Times isn't exactly uh, impartial. Uh, so I wouldn't take anything, you know. Anyway, not to get too political. Uh, I just think that, see, I'd never, I knew they argued. I knew they, uh, had issues, but I didn't, never didn't know that it escalated to yelling and name calling, which makes it a little bit different for me. Uh, makes it kind of a little bit more sad, you know. Uh, but it is what it is, as I always say, and uh, that's all I have for you. I uh, hope you all will run over to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia and check out that, and please subscribe. Thank you very much, and have a great day. God bless you, and I'll be praying for you.